Hey guys, it's Summer of Misty Valley Paramount. This look was created live by you guys, for you guys, with my help of actually doing the makeup. And this is what we came up with after we decided to do an Easter themed look. And once again, thank you for watching live. Make sure you join me next time, ustream.tv slash channel slash by Denver. And if you want to see a tutorial on this look, then definitely keep watching. They enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and I'm more than positive that you're going to enjoy it as well. Hey guys, don't forget to leave all your amazing comments, feedback below, and if you want to see more tutorials, definitely make sure you thumbs up, a favorite, and subscribe for all the latest tutorials. So anyways, uh, I've gone through and I've contoured and highlighted, and um, I've used very minimal product. So to set, I'm going to use, of course, my standard Nutriset. brush off the excess. Yeah, so on the eyes we're using golds, teals, and purples. Alright, screw my brows into place. So I'm going to use Bear Study. It's just a metallic paint pot by MAC. And I'm going to put this all over the eyelids. I'm going to put uh, teal on the inner corner. This is a color that I'm going to use. This is just called Style Driven. I guess it's uh, it's the closest to teal that I have. And, and I'm going to just pack this onto a chiseled pointed fluff brush. And this is by Cupcake Cutie Cosmetics in number 808. And we're going to just pack this onto the inner corner. Okay, so once that's on, I'm going to take the same brush and a gold color. This is a gold color here. This is called, this is a limited edition. I don't know what this one was called. It's by Mac. Uh, I depotted it, unfortunately, and I don't know what it's called. And I'm going to apply this to the middle half of the eye, blending over onto that blue. I'm going to put a, uh, a purple. And this is Parfait Amour. I've been using it a lot lately. And that is going to go onto the inner or the outer corner here. Coming up on more of a rounded butterfly shape than anything. Alright, and taking the same color combination, I'm going to do the bottom. Alright. So connect this purple right up to the top. And I'm going to really deepen this color right on the outside corner here. As I said, I have a transition color for in between the two, and this one is called Mythology, and it is by MAC, and it's just a combination between gold and purple, or more like a rust color. I'm going to use Mylar, which is just this light color here, if you guys could see that. Um, this is by MAC. It's matte. And applying it primarily onto the tip, I'm going to put this right underneath the brow here. And I'm also going to blend out the blue along the side here with that as well. So now we're going to, I think I'm going to line with a bright blue liner. This is Chromagraphic uh, Pencil in High Def Cyan. And I'm going to put this all along my upper and lower lash line. And then I'm going to put black along the upper and lower lash line as well. So I'm going to curl my lashes, apply mascara, and put on some falsies. Oh no, I'm going to do one other thing to the eyes. I'm going to take this, which is called Luna, a cream color base. And I'm just going to press this right to the inner corner. So I'm going to do a lighter purple lip. Three-dimensional, of course, because that's the way I that's the way I roll. And to do that, I'm going to use a lip pencil by Carez. This is it here. It's the color there, and this is in number forty-five, and it is called just purple. That's it. I'm filling in the outside with this. And I already don't like this color, so 
what am I going to do to fix this? So taking an angled liner brush and this which is passion purple, I'm going to put it over top of that color that I just added. And just so that it blends in with the rest of the look, I'm going to take this color and put it on the inner of uh, the outer corner right up here as well. I don't like the way it looks right now. Um, uh, what am I going to do to fix it? What should I do, guys? The contour needs to be more dramatic. This is definitely deepening the eyes for sure. Yeah, you know what? I need more contour. Yeah, I can't. This this can't be a lightly contoured look. Sorry for those of you who wanted only a light con a, a light contour, but it's not gonna work for this look. So taking my 109 brush, the edge of the brush on blunt for Mac. No, this isn't fixing it. Something is still missing. I'm going to add more of a dramatic highlight, I think, around the nose. And I'm going to put this up here, deepen this. All right, and I'm also going to do my temples right here. All right, also down along the jawline here. What do you mean more of a dramatic brow? You have to be more specific. My brows are very, very arched. Um, which is my definition of dramatic is, is is it's boom boom in your face if you mean by darker I'm not gonna do a darker brow because I'm not gonna put on darker hair does that make sense alright so taking white by Ben Nye along the cheekbone here and also right to the inner corner. There we go. Now it's getting better slowly. And yeah, I think just a little bit of um, um, blush. -a. I'm going to add a little bit of the same purple. Right into here. And a little bit along the contour up here. And then I'm going to highlight my face with a shiny uh, highlighter. And for this, I'm going to use NARS. And this is an Al Albatross. And I'm also going to apply this right dead center of the lip. top of the cupid's bow and I'm also going to take a tiny little bit of this and put it directly underneath the upper brow with and I'm also going to take a little bit and just put it right dead center of that gold that's there actually hang on hang on hang on don't get too excited yet All right, I'm going to grab some hair, and I'll be right back. And that's everything. I hope this was helpful to all of you. And as I said before, this was filmed live on Ustream.tv slash channel slash by Denver, where you guys actually designed the look, chose the colors, and I just happened to paint my face with your guys' directions. So, Thanks again for watching this tutorial, stay tuned for the next one, and I will look forward to talking to you all very, very soon. Alright, bye guys.